hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a4 paper size then Make sure that your own is landscape. Then, and I will leave the resolution at 300. Then you click on grid. So this is our working area now. Here I'm going to import the background I'm going to use in this tutorial. Then the first one I will import this image. Then I'll drag it up scale it this way okay now go to your filter block Gaussian block then I'm going to reduce it around 20 24.9 then you click OK apply your layer mask Go to your gradient tool and you blend over here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this worship image, then scale it out, position it this area. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. Sorry, I mean overlay. Then I will reduce the opacity to 31. Then apply your layer mask, go to your gradient tool, and you blend here. So, in this image, you can also use soft light or overlay, any one. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use overlay. Then you import this one, scale it out. I'm going to leave it around here. Then go to your filter blur, Gaussian blur. Then increase it to around 31.8. You can use 0.9. Then apply your layer mask, go to your gradient tool, then you blend over here, you blend the top, then I will leave it this way, then I'm going to import this one again. Then you scale it out, drag it down, position it around here. Then go to your filter. Then apply Gaussian blur. Then I will increase it. So I will leave it around 44.3. Then I'm going to apply a layer mask. Select your gradient tool and you blend here. It's okay like this. Then select your rectangle. angle. Then you draw a rectangle here. Then I'm going to apply a red color. It's okay. 
then you group it control G as your background Then I'm going to bring this logo This logo is not going to be included in the tutorial so you can use any logo Then select the magic tool Hold your shift key Then you select the white area Then you press delete on your keyboard then Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then I'll position it over here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Position in this area, then Ctrl J to duplicate it, then change the font to poppins, make it bold, then go to your test and copy, then Ctrl V to paste, bring it down over here, copy this color code. Go to your color, then paste the color code. Then duplicate this test here. Then Ctrl V to paste. Open the character spacing. Then reduce the font size. Duplicate this one again. Then come over here to copy your test. Ctrl V to paste. Then change the font to this font here. Expand it. Then apply vertical alignment. Copy again. Duplicate this one. Then Ctrl V to paste. Use the font Bebas Boot. Ctrl D to deselect. Then apply drop shadow. 5, 10, then up here 24. Okay, now I'm going to copy the layer style, then paste them. Alright, then come over to copy the team, then duplicate this one. Ctrl V to paste. Change the font to white. Then 
then duplicate the team then and paste your test copy this color code select your color then paste the color code now select it position it well then scale this one out it's okay like this then I make it centralized and control D to deselect Ctrl C to copy, then duplicate this one, bring it down, then paste it, scale it out, apply vertical alignments. Position it this way. Okay. Now select it and group it. Then bring this image. Then I'm going to duplicate the image. Then position one over here. Apply great a clipping mask. The same thing here. Control C to copy. Now duplicate this one, bring it down, Ctrl V to paste, then take it over this area, then bring this icon, Ctrl U on your keyboard, Duplicate it again. Then paste it. Okay. Then also reduce this one. Then group it together. Also group this one. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. Apply the dash dash. Increase the number. Then reduce it this way, then expand it. Now I'm going to curve it.
enter this number here so this is the outcome of it then you reduce the one you duplicate then i'm going to remove the outline then apply fill color all right so here i rasterize that one and i'm going to cut it out this way then delete on your keyboard now i'm going to bring this image All right, I'll position it like this. So now, come over here, hold your control key, then you click. Now, apply layer mask. So this is how it will come. Then select your brush. Then select soft brush. Now, change your background to white. Then you clean it up. So that is it. Then now copy your test, select your test to then contribute to paste, change the font color to black. Reduce the size. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it again. Then copy the name. Control V to paste. And also reduce the size then select the two apply vertical alignment then i'm going to group it now i'm going to duplicate it again then you move it over here zoom out and zoom in to see how the outcome is now remove the image then i'm going to bring this image reduce the size okay now do the same thing again hold your control key then you click on the layer Now I'm applying a drop shadow on the rent angle. Then I'm going to copy the layer style. Then select the layer here, then you paste the layer style. Now I'm going to place this one again
Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this one again. Then move it over here. Now I'm going to remove the image. Then bring this one in. So position it this way. So do the same thing as the first and the second one. Duplicate this one. Drag it over here. Bring this icon. Press Ctrl U on your keyboard, you drag this one to this white. Now I will drag this one and position it over here, reduce the size and it's okay like this. Draw a rectangle like this. Change the color. Now duplicate this one. Control J. Now position it over here. Then come over here to copy, then control V to paste. Then copy your text again. Then you paste it. Draw another rectangle right here. Change the color to white. Then duplicate this one. Bring it down.
change it to white. It's okay. Then copy the time and paste it over here. Then your location. Come here to carry or to bring this icon. Yeah, the position is okay. Then you paste the one you copy. Change the font color to black. And reduce the font size. Position it over here. Centralize it. It's okay. Then you select it, you group it together. Apply vertical alignment, control D to the select. Then you group it. Apply screen. Then apply Gaussian below. It's okay like this. Then I'll drag it and position it over here. Open the, this one. Reduce the size. Apply screen. So thank you so much for watching. So please kindly share, like and subscribe.